Okay, we're here at Cold Springs with Coach Elliott, uh, beginning his um, seventh year. Seventh consecutive year? No. Okay. No. Had, four, had four to start with, and then three. This will start my third year the next go round. Okay, that's what I was thinking. He, but anyway, this is third year on his second tour of duty. Okay. Uh, but anyway, they had a, a really good team last year. They lost a couple of real good contributors last year, though, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Uh, Logan, lost Logan Campbell. He was the, um, um, the area player of the year, and uh, he's, down, he's leaving for West Alabama in the morning. So, okay. And uh, we lost Caleb Ellison. He'd been a three-year player for us and big, big strong back, too. Yeah. How many seniors you got coming back? Uh, we got six this year. Uh, three of them have been starting for four years. This is better fourth year to start. All right, uh, good leadership then. Well, yeah, we hope so. That's the idea. <laughs> All right, uh, and so you're probably going to be a lot of younger kids. Are they repeating starters? Well, uh, I think we got six starters back, offense and defense. And um, uh, our younger kids, our 10th graders, um, uh, got to play some last year's ninth graders. So we, we kept them with us most of the years last year. All right, and your area changes up a little bit this year. Tell me a little, give me a little comparison, uh, you know, about some of the teams that you had last year as opposed to the ones you're going to have this year. Well, um, you know, the two-time defending state champ is the uh, first thing you notice about the region. And then, of course, Addison. Addison's a uh, traditional uh, power team. And, um, but, yeah, I think it's going to be um, um, some nights more than we want maybe, but, um I think I think we'll we'll compete just fine and uh, be ready to play. All right, have you got any positions that you've got young kids who are just going to have to really come on and develop, or are you pretty sound in uh, say quarterback skill positions and things like that? Um, yeah, I was just I was just watching that base block over there. I wanted to say yeah, good job. I just wasn't watching, but uh, uh, yeah, well you know our quarterback's going to be a tenth grader. Um, um, Kate, Kate Elliott, he's going to be a 10th grader, and uh, uh, we got we got a ninth grader starter for us last year as running back, and he's going to be a really nice player, Nick Rello. So he's a 10th grader, but he's got a year of varsity experience. And uh, the other running back will be um, Austin Moore, and uh, and then we got a um, several kids who are going to run the football that were back off last year's teams. They maybe in different roles. We use a lot of personnel groupings now. Uh, kind of maybe like the college level, you know, when we want to go power, we try to go big guys, and when we want to go wide, we try to go with scat backs, and so we got all them scat backs back that we had last year. Well, have you got that go-to guy uh, this year that you had last year? Well, we, we certainly hope we're going to have, we hope Nick and Austin will be those guys for us, but, uh, you know, uh, Nick's a young kid, he don't drive. Um, but uh, Austin's been starting for four years for us, so we think Austin's going to be um, uh be kind of a, um, a big time leader for us. We certainly hope so. You know, sometimes a team sort of gets to depend uh, on the go-to guy like they did last year, you know, and of course you as a coach, uh, if there's a key situation, his number usually got called. But this year, a lot of times you really find some uh, diamonds in the rough when they realize they've got to step up and play. Well, that's true. We, we were out here talking the other day. We were just sitting around talking. The kids were even before practice started. And uh, we were talking about a situation in one of the games last year where uh, the kids said that I come out on the field, kind of got after him a little bit. And um, uh, Austin was playing quarterback last year at that time. And he said, Coach, you didn't even tell me to play. I said, well, that was kind of the ideal. I said, y'all knew what you needed to do at that moment. And I said, what happened was Logan Campbell stepped up and said, give me the football. And so we got to have that situation this year. You know, when the coach is on you and he, and he, and he may be just trying to prove a point, who's going to be that guy that says, all right, guys, let's go do it, just like he wants it, you know. And every team, every good team, has one or two of those guys. They do. And, then, and you know, a kid like Logan, that part of it is yet to be seen out here. Can we, play, can we have a guy that can run as fast as Logan? Yeah, we'll have guys run faster than Logan. Are we going to have a guy that runs as hard as Logan? I think we will. But when the going gets tough, are those guys going to be tough as Logan was? And, and um, you know, that's, that's what we got to find out. Mm, that determination factor. Right. All right, your coaching staff, are most of those back? Uh, they are. Uh, we, did have, we do have one new coach, Eric Carver. He's going to be doing our junior high this time for us. But most of our, all of our coaches are back. Well, I take that by Adam McKinnon. 
you know, I'm sorry, my mind's gone bad. Adam McKinnon moved up, and Greg Tomlin is no longer coaching. So uh, Matt Negron is taking over our defense, Coach Negron, and Adam McKinnon is coaching our, our secondary and receivers. Okay. All right. We appreciate you uh, helping us out here with our program, and uh, good luck to you this year. Hope things go as well as you think they can, because I, I know having coached with you in the past, uh, there's a, a positive uh, feeling that you have, a confident feeling that, uh, you know, uh, we're going to do it right and we're going to do it well. And, you know, that comes, I, I think you played for Coach Tally, and then as you coached with me, and I think you, there's a lot of confidence and a lot of positive things that go into the into making a coach. Well, <laughs> I, I suppose those are uh, 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 those are things that most coaches do have, and most coaches that want to win and do well have, and we certainly want to have those those type characteristics. And I know the number one thing that you want to build is character. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about that. And we want our kids to do the right thing. We want our kids to understand uh, what we're here on earth for. And um, uh, we're and we do have good kids. I got a preacher on my team this time. And we're going to hear him preach his first sermon Sunday morning. Okay. Well, the uh, whole team be there. And that can really bring a group together. Yeah, we certainly hope so. Um, you know, um, God can do things, or God's going to do things the way he, he sees fit and for us. And, and we're going we're gonna to be content with what he has for us. But, you know, I think God honors things like that. And, and we're, we're excited about it. Well, we thank you for the interview here, Coach. And good luck to you this season. Hope things go well and everybody stays healthy. All right, good luck. Well, this is Coach Elliott uh, beginning his third consecutive year, but seventh overall as uh, head coach at uh, Cold Springs High School Eagles. And we'll be back in just a minute.